So you actually took it a step further beyond just calling it out and refusing to apologize and back down. You actually said I'm going after Sephora because you guys are defaming me and essentially taking money out of my pocket. I'm an influencer. You guys are telling people I'm a racist. Tell me about how that lawsuit went down and where you are with it now. Yeah, so when Sephora started publicly posting that I don't fit in with their values of inclusivity, that they've disaffiliated, like they made it a, a big story. And so here I am, just someone who is being told, hey, you've got to take the sponsorship down, you've got to take it down. When they knew I, I was conservative, I had asked their representative of the agency, like, I'm Christian, I'm conservative, is that okay? I get criticism. They said it was okay. And when you have someone like Sephora, who's a trendsetter and one of the biggest, if not the biggest beauty company saying, hey, this influencer is, is a bad person, brands aren't going to do their research. They're just going to say, okay, she's out. So when they did that, I stopped getting PR from brands when I used to receive boxes, you know, all throughout the week. That's how I do my job. It's how I review makeup. And so, you know, for the left to say they, they empower women, but then also say, let's defund women who don't think like us is disgusting. It's beyond wrong. These brands are so spineless. They won't stand and say, hey, we support everyone because most of them are liberal. The few beauty brands that are closet conservatives will never speak on it and they bow to the mob every time, which encourages it. And conservatives are not accepted in the beauty industry. If you say anything about conservative or Christian values, you're canceled.